Here are some basic rules in twirling situations for tennis. Catching the ball. If a player standing outside the court catches a ball before it bounces, that player loses the point. The ball must hit the ground first for the ball to be ruled out before a player can catch it or stop it with his body. Receiver during serve. The USTA awards a point to the server if the served ball hits the receiver or in a double situation, the receiver's partner before it touches the ground. Even if the serve is cleanly, clearly not going to hit its design, designated serving area, if the ball hits the player before the ground, the point goes to the server. The play is ruled at ruled a let. If the ball first touches the net, strap or band, and then touches the receiver or the receiver's partner or any clothing before it touches the ground. Server during serve. A serve service is ruled a fault if the served ball touches the server or the server's partner or any clove, clothing each one is wearing, as well as any items they may be carrying, including the racket. A server can catch the ball after tossing it into the air for a serve. He can grab it either with his hand or catch it with the racket. He can also let the ball bounce if he wants. For example, this might happen when the server tosses the ball in the air to serve and finds himself siding, staring directly into the sun. Here are some unwritten rules. Greeting your opponent. Before you play, greet your opponent in a friendly manner. The spin of the racket should be completed before going into the court to warm up. Serving and receiving. The server can the server always begins a point with at least two balls in in her or his possession. The server must wait until the receiver is ready before serving both the first and second serve. If the first serve is a fault, the receiver has the option or clearing of clearing the court of balls before receiving the next serve. Keeping score. Both players should keep score accurately. The server should announce the point before serving each point. If there is a disagreement, meet your opponent at the net and attempt to reconstruct play and figure out the correct score. If a, if an score cannot be agreed on, go back to the last score with which both opponents can agree exist existed. After each point collected all collect all the balls on your side of the net and return them directly to the server, not just anywhere on the server's side of the net. Calling the lines. In situations in which there are no officials, you are responsible for officiating on your side of the net and trust your opponent to do so on his or her side of the net. You're also responsible for calling loud, loudly and clearly the lines on your side of the net. According to the tennis tradition, you should give your opponent the benefit of any doubt a ball hitting any part of the line, bouncing the proper core is good. If the ball is so close that the core is questionable, play the ball as good. Play the ball as good. If the receiver makes no call and returns the ball, the server must be prepared to hit it. Make a call on the other side of the net only if you are asked by your opponent to do so.